Time for another board game review, and this time we have the game Point Salad. This was sent to me by AEG, and is designed by Molly Johnson, Robert Melvin, and Sean Stankwich. Point Salad is a fast and fun card drafting game for the whole family. There are over 100 ways to score points. Players may use a variety of strategies, and every game of Point Salad is unique. Let me show you how to play. All right, so in Point Salad, uh, you have these piles of cards. Um, it's a card drafting tableau building game where you're building a salad of veggies and collecting point cards to score the most points for the ingredients in your salad. Um, all of these cards have a vegetable on one side and a scoring mechanism on the other side. So on your turn, you draft one or more cards. You may draft either one point card from the top of any of the draw piles or two veggie cards from those available in the market. After you select your cards, add them to a face-up tableau in front of yourself, and you're done. That's it. So I could be like, okay, I'm going to take this card here. So if you take this point card, um, which this means you score two for every onion card at the end, one for every cabbage, and minus two for every tomato, and you can place that in front of yourself. Alternatively, if you wanted, you could be like, mm, I'm going to take uh, two carrots on my turn. You take two carrots, play them in front of you. And then you replace those cards. Now an optional free action you can do once per turn is you can choose to flip over any one of your point cards and turn it into a veggie card. So let's say I change my mind about this point card and I go, mm, I don't want to go for this anymore. I can flip it over, turn it into a tomato. However, you cannot do vice versa. You can't turn a veggie card you have back into a point card. Every time you draft veggie cards, you always re refill them from their corresponding draw piles, like so. Uh, and once you run out of one, you split the largest pile roughly in half uh, to replace the empty pile. Now the game ends when all cards from all the point card piles and the veggie market have been drafted. And then you score your points. So, obviously the turn, what you do on your turns is very simple. But let's look at some of the different types of scoring cards you can have. Um, at the end of the game, you'll count all, you'll count your veggies and you'll see what you have. So for example, a point card like this in front of you at the end, every three cabbages you have is worth eight points. A card like this, if you have the fewest peppers, uh, that'll give you seven points. I already showed some of these before, like this gives you three for every pepper, minus one for every tomato, minus one for every lettuce. They're all pretty straightforward if you look at them. You can get points for like the most carrots, that'll give you 10. Also, if you have even totals or odd totals, so if you have an even total of lettuce at the end, you'll get seven points if you have that point card base up. If you ever tie for a scoring condition on the card, whoever uh, has the point card uh, scores the victory points. And that's literally it. You just draft cards, uh, try to grab point cards and uh, collect veggies to score those point cards at the end. And that's the game. So as I've said many times before, uh, I love games that are extremely easy to learn, but also very satisfying to play. And this is definitely one of those. This is like the peak example of one of those, where the sheer simplicity of just drafting one or two cards on your turn and yet having lots to think about is great. You're always staring at your opponent's cards and going, okay, should I take that point card because I don't want them to have it, but I don't need it. I need to grab those veggies. You're always full of dilemmas like that, and it's great. Uh, being able to take the point cards and flip them to veggies is a nice touch to add some extra strategy to the game, but ultimately, you're always going to feel like you want to grab more cards uh, than you can or are able to. Uh, it's, that dilemma will always be there in the best way. Uh, the game is breezy to play. It doesn't overstay its welcome. The calculations aren't complicated at the end. And the overall theme is cheeky and fun because, you know, point salad is, you know, a, a common, for those of you who aren't aware, it's something that is a, a board game term of like, oh, this game, you just do a bunch of different stuff. It, it's a point salad. You get all these points in different ways. Uh, so even the name is, I think, very cute. As far as drafting card games go, that can be learned in seconds. I think this one is up there. It is light, but it's meaty, or should I say, vegetable-y. Uh, it's a nutritious game, uh, and I think it's very, very good. And again, I love how easy it is to learn and play.